today we wrap up our week long adventure series with 41 NBC's Kyle Warnke. In tonight's finale, he takes a dive into one of the things that scares him most water. We're getting a behind the scenes look at the Georgia Aquarium as we go wild with Kyle. To start this story, I need to let you all know a little something about myself. Deep water terrifies me, especially when the world's largest fish is in the water and wants to see just exactly what I'm doing in its territory. But we'll come back to my encounter with the whale shark in just a minute. Before that, it was one-on-one -on -one time with the beluga whales and quit snickering about the wetsuit. The Georgia Aquarium was nice enough to let me step into the 50-degree water exhibit and spend some time getting to know the whales. For example, did you know that the beluga whale enjoys being scratched on its belly? Or that it can be trained to mimic the sound of someone who has recently eaten too many baked beans? Once the playtime is over, it's now time to face my biggest fear. The swim put me in water 50 feet deep with a fish the size of a school bus. And there's four of those. Right about now, I'm shaking in my wetsuit. And let's not forget, there are hammerhead sharks in the tank, manta rays and stingrays, and it seems each one of them was curious about what in the world I'm doing swimming with them. I'm thinking the same thing. Fortunately, nothing decided to taste my presence. The swimming giants only wanted to see what I was by feeling me. And in case you are wondering what it feels like to have a 40-foot fish swim silently up to you and then bump into you because there's nowhere for you to go to get out of its way, it isn't pleasant. But what an awesome feeling to be able to get in the water with these creatures. And now I need to go change out of my soiled wetsuit. It's wild. I'm Kyle, 41 NBC News. Gross, Kyle. I'm jealous, though. He had a fun week, and we certainly want to try a lot of those things he did. Now, if you have a wild idea for Kyle, send us an email to daybreak at 41NBC.com.